Hello everybody, my name is Affin and welcome back to Aeon on Mosaic Anemone, as I like to call it. Now, I may sound a wee bit tired, but that's because I've only had an hour and a half sleep, so that's okay. In the last episode, we graduated high school or university, yeah, it was university, and we, um... Uh, got engaged. It was mint and our friend forgave us. It was also more mint. So I'm very excited to see what else happens and I can't wait to see the other endings where we instead steal the girl from our friend and like instead of stealing the girl from our friend we just give her the love letter from the friend. Um, I completely forgot the voices. Oh! White walls and the white roof. The faint scent of disinfectant and the beating of my anxious heart. Wandering in the corridor of the hospital, my mind has been playing the scenes of Ruta over and over again. Did she get, like, pregnant or... We have a child together. It is our child. Ten months of pregnancy and just for this day, I'm finally becoming a father. This morning, she felt uncomfortable and was sent to the hospital. Originally, the doctor had told us to wait for another week or so. I didn't expect it to be so soon. A nurse came out of the delivery room looking for me. Hello. How, uh, how's Ruta? Are you Ruta's relative? Like, oh my god, you're so cute. Yeah, I am. She shouldn't be out for a short period. If it takes too long, we're still suggesting a cesarean section. C-section. It's where they cut open their, uh, um, just, just, I think it's either just below or just above the uterus or just on. I don't know. And they take the baby out. But don't you worry. Everything is fine at the moment. Can I go in and have a look? Hey, didn't you just see her just now? You can't go in there now. Hey, man, that is rude. The father should be present. You don't have to wait here all day. You might as well go and get something she could eat. What can she eat? I don't know how long... I don't know how long it would take. Just get some hot water, porridge, and things like that. I'm such a bitch. To be honest, nurses have to deal with a lot of bullshit, so I'm not surprised. The hospital canteen on the east wing on the first floor should have those things, but you need to bring your own cups. Okay, thank you very much. I completely forgot Ruta's voice, by the way, so I'm totally going to butcher this. I bought a stainless steel thermos from the supermarket downstairs and filled it with hot water in the canteen. Although this is the only place to eat in the entire hospital, there aren't that many people. I ordered a rice porridge and vegetable soup at the counter before putting them into the insulated takeaway box that I prepared beforehand. By asking the nurse in charge, it seems like she could only be able to eat these. Just as I was about to leave, I saw a limping man walking past the hall. He looks strangely like someone I know, but judging from the way he dresses or his body shape, I felt a sense of strangeness. Don't tell me! How is he... How is our bro here? I tapped him on the shoulder. Hey, have we met somewhere before? Hearing my voice, the man stopped in his tracks. Where did he come from? And where did he get that scar? Oh, dude got, got it rough. He turned his head and I finally saw his face, ever so clearly. Although he is much thinner than what he is two years ago, I can still dis distinguish that face from a glance. Oncidian? He obviously recognized me, since there's not really much change with me of a couple years, but he... He seems to be ravaged by time. I think you got the wrong person. He frowned, lowered his head, and tried to leave. Although he said I got the wrong guy, I know he is Oncidian. Why does he not admit it? Okay, let me put it this way. He's like this because I stole his girlfriend. Well, not his girlfriend because I stole his crush. But... Dude would have had some something going on up 
up here to turn out like this from that, to be honest. Just saying. Wait a minute. Unsidian, I know it's you. I can understand why you don't want to see me. I was powerless before, but now I can help you. If you don't mind, I can give you a bunch of money. It's compensation. <laughs> compensation. Unsidian turned around, his face painted with the expression of sorrow and hate. You're playing the good guy again, aren't you? How are you going to make it up to me? Is money really the only thing in your eyes? There's something money could solve. Then it is not a problem. Maybe I should really thank you for it. As for your stinking money, keep it. I know it's my... 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 I know it's my fault at that time. I shouldn't be hiding things from you, especially when you were being punished. I shouldn't be that sightless. I hope I can make it up to you, even if it makes you feel a little better. Whatever you want, as long as I can do, I will try my best. It's all too late. I want the time from before. I want to be respected by people. I want a healthy and functional body. Money can't buy all these- all these shits! So tell me, Convalor, why do I need your money? If time could rewind, maybe everything could change. But this is only a big IF. Uncidian is right. He hated me. Can't do anything other than stand and watch. What happened? Uncidian's tensed eyebrows suddenly relaxed and the corners of his mouth twitched upwards. He gripped the white plastic bag in his hand tightly, which contained a blue brochure and a water bottle. Without saying anything, he turned and limped away. I just stood there, as a sinner. I can only watch him disappearing out the door. Okay, look, I don't know... Okay, clearly he really liked the girl, but again, the only reason why he was like that is because you betrayed him. But hey, walking from the canteen back to the gynecology and obstetrics, I don't know how to pronounce that department, I noticed a nurse running into Ruth's delivery room. She entered the room before I could call out to her. Seems like there's some kind of emergency, maybe the baby's out? Oh no. Oh no. Anxious waiting outside the cold corridor. This may be the longest 40 minutes of my life. Oh buddy, 40 minutes ain't nothing. I pray to heaven, I will trade everything for the safety of Rooter and my kid's safety. Finally, I heard the faint cries of the baby resounding off the delivery room, breaking the dreadful silence. That was fast. She she didn't even go to go and like she said she felt strange, but didn't go into labor. Just like just like that, baby just whoop slip right out, breaking the dreadful silent. The baby is born, and finally a dad. About a minute later, the doctor came out of the delivery room. She took off her mask and smiled. Are you Ruta's family member? Yeah, yeah I am. How's she doing? Congratulations. Both the mother and the kids are sa safe. Both the mother and the kids safe. And it's a boy. Ruta was pushed into the general ward from the delivery room, together with the child. I followed the nurse into the ward and saw the weak weakened Ruta. Her vagina is stretched massively. Look at how big that child is. Ah, but look at how adorable that is. She looked exhausted, but she was staring at the child in the bed deeply. Ruta! I crouched halfway over the bed and took her hand. Ruta realized I was in the corridor, I was in the room with her, and smiled at me. Look at our baby, how cute. I think that was the voice I gave her. Well, yeah, he's cute. Ruta is very excited, with tears welling up in the corners of her eyes. I know that they are tears of joy. The nickname that I've always used is Miracle, as our lives are filled with miracles. Please don't. Please don't call your kid Miracle. Met with Ruta, meet with Ruta, be with her, and stepping into the hall of marriage with her. Now our child is born. 
born. It is the fruit of our love and our future. I gently extended my finger to the child, and he too raised his little hand. <laughs> Poop. Now get ready for three years of changing nappies. He smiled, and at that moment I felt a sense of inheritance, frozen in time, and new miracles. Thank you, life. Thank you very much. Oh, that was it! Oh! Okay, well, that's... I'm guessing that's... Okay, yeah, that's one of the endings. I don't think I've been recording for long. I think I've only been recording for like a good 10 minutes. But, um, well, since I am very tired, I will leave this here. Um, I will be, I will continue it, don't you worry. I will be continuing it. I'm just gonna leave this one here as, I'm gonna say, good ending. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, I don't know how to, how to title it, if it's a good ending or not, but, I mean, it looks like a good ending. Let's just say happy ending. Maybe. Family ending. I'll call it the family ending. There we go. So, um, can I fast forward through this? Oh, I can. Okay. It's fast forwarding. Very nice. Is there going to be extras? Okay, 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 no, we are continuing this. We are not leaving it here. Gerberon. Ger- Ger- Gerberon? Is- okay, I don't know if Gerberon is a dude or a chick. So I'm just gonna say he's a dude. Cerisa, finally awake? No, there must be something that's wrong. But Lavilia has never made any mistake. The character of the profile target is supposed to be at variance with what she inferred. It could be that the information provided by the client is wrong, or that they are deliberately withholding something. Give me another shot. I'll find it this time. Calm down and think about what actually went wrong. Who I am and where I am. Memory correction function on. Oh, I am intrigued. Memory has not been unlocked. Oh, I am intrigued. What is it? Okay, well then, yeah, I am gonna leave it here then. Um, and then, yeah, we gotta go through and change up some stuff. So the next one, I'm gonna follow Ruta again. But I know that I did have a couple choices and I'm going to change those choices up. So, yep, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment. I stream on Twitch. Not that often anymore. Like, at the moment. Not anymore. At the moment. Um, I'm just looking after myself. And um, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.